Today, I'm going to show you how to change your barometric pressure units on the Garmin Instinct Solar first generation. The reason I say that is the first generation, you have to do this setting on the watch. If you've got one of the later models like the Instinct 2, 2X uh, crossover, you can also do this on the Garmin Connect app, but not on this version. We're going to do it on the watch. There's a couple different ways to do this on the watch. I'm going to show you both of them. If you look, you can see that my barometric pressure being displayed right now is 119. So you don't know really what that is because it doesn't give you the abbreviation for the units on the display, but we can go into our barometer and we can check out some more details. Let me use the up or down button. I have the barometer widget installed. If you've got the widget installed, you can adjust your barometric pressure units through the widget. While I'm on the widget, I'm simply going to press and hold the middle button, which is the menu button on the left hand side. It'll take me into my menu options for the barometric pressure or the barometer uh, widget. The very first option is the barometer options. Press GPS to go into your options. And then we can use either the up or down button. We're gonna go down to pressure and you can see that mine is set to millibars. If I press the GPS button, I can change my units. So these are your different options. You've got uh, inches of mercury, millimeters of mercury, millibars, hectopascals. Whenever you're on the value you want to change it to, simply press the GPS button. It successfully makes the change and backs you out. Now if I go back, my barometric pressure units are in hectopascals. Let me change it to something different just so you have a different view. Actually, we'll go change it um, to something different here in a second, doing the other way we can do it. I like doing it this way because no matter which widget you have installed, even if you don't have the barometer widget installed, you can always do the method that I'm getting ready to show you here. We're going to press and hold the menu button again on the left hand side, this middle button. That'll take us into our main menu for the watch. We can use the up or down button. I'm going to simply press up because we need to get to the last value, which is settings. Press GPS when you're on settings. Again, we can use either the up or down button. And again, I'm going to press up a couple of times to get to system, press GPS to select system. And then again, we can use the up or down button. We need to go down to units. This is going to be the global setting for all of the units on the watch. Under units, we're gonna simply press the down button until we get to pressure. And we're in the exact same place as we were before using the shortcut through the barometer widget. I'm gonna go in, again, I'm on hectopascals. Let's change it to millimeters of mercury just for fun. Got it changed. Here, unless you have a hot key, you're going to basically be pressing the bottom right button, which is your back button, a couple times to get you back to your main watch face. And now you can see that my barometric pressure is in millimeters of mercury. So that's it. Pretty simple. That's how you change your barometric pressure units on the Garmin Instinct Solar.